Let's go get them again. Well, here we are finally with the unboxing of the ultra hyped Oud for Greatness. It has arrived. And this was after, of course, my sampling video. If you haven't seen it a couple weeks back, I had a little sample of Oud for Greatness. Uh, I was kind of lukewarm on the scent, but looking forward to test it out some more now with a full bottle in hand. Today, well, we'll see if my thoughts have changed from that little sample. So this video is gonna be real quick. Let's unbox it. Very good family, welcome to the Robezoic channel. I'm your host, Mark. Today, we are doing an unboxing. Yes, we are, but not really a first impression here um, because I've smelt this uh, through a uh, little sample. So we're just gonna unbox my bottle. I'll give you my thoughts on a piece of paper and we're gonna run with it until we do have a pop the cherry on this that I wore it a few more on skin. So Oud for Greatness. Um, my first bottle of the Initio brand, my first sniff of the Initio brand, um, it's really popular in our YouTube fragrance community. I have my doubts about the line just because free bottles, anyone? Yeah, anybody? No, no. PDM for you. Initio for you. Both. Let, let's send you a boatloads of, of, of all. Um, not a fan of that. And you, you got to be cold and calculated with your fragrance reviewers to see, you know, they don't want to hurt their sponsors' feelings with, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Um, you know what? I can afford your bottle. So I will do, and uh, I'm not making any friends today in the in the fragrance world, but it is what it is. How do you open this sucker? Is this, ah, it's one of those. Okay, okay, I see you. I see you, Initio. Um, so let's see. I'm going to give this one a good run for its money. Let's go. All right, let's uh, delve into this one. Uh, let's unbox this. This is a very, like almost a rubbery box. Interesting. Uh, we got the card in the background here. A uh, very nice presentation. Bottle's got some half to it. Cap. Not bad. Uh, presentation wise, you look niche. Yes, you do. Bottle looks good. It's a good looking bottle. Gotta admit. Now let's uh, spray this thing. Let's see if it reminds me of that sample that I had a while back. Let's see what we get here. Oud for greatness. Yeah, sweet, spicy, uh, woody. Baccarat Rouge-esque. Yes, it, it pulls a lot of that saffron, that amber wood. Um, yeah, some people dub this the best dude in the game. Oh, named wrong. I think it's not Oud for greatness. I'll tell you that. Um, very much, the Oud is designer-ish. Honestly, um, dusty, lots of lavender in here with the saffron. That combo is really good. Wallop of amberwood here. Um, uniqueness, again, like I said, in the it, it really is, I'll, I'll be honest, my sampling samples video, my test drive video that I did two weeks ago. Mark, you are spot on. <laughs> Don't need to do this unboxing video because it's a woodier, darker, um, version of Baccarat Rouge. Um, not as um, resinous. Uh, Baccarat Rouge has like almost a crystallized resinous sweetness, very red. This is red, but it's a warmer, darker, uh, drier release. A lot of woods here, more cedar than oud like. I feel like the saffron's really good in here. Um, there's some nutmeg to spice things up a little bit. Um, but at the end of the day, again, I, I think it's a very solid, um, easy to like. If you like Baccarat Rouge and you like darker stuff, um, I really think what they did with the melange here, um, they will appeal to a lot of noses. And that's why maybe this is so popular. I like it. I think it's easily wearable, but it's not a standout. Like there's some wow fragrances out there that I, I just, you know, special occasion. Wow fragrance. This is more of those... And maybe it's just my nose, but I feel like this is just a more versatile release. Uh, and maybe your niche fragrance, that's what your niche needs are. A lot of people like, you know, unique, daring, challenging, unique niche fragrances. I'm in that category. Show me something that is 
crazy that I'll, I never smelt before, I will like that more than something like this. This is highly wearable and with a collection like mine, I'm not in that, but you may be. Like if you wanna spend $400, maybe you want something that you're gonna wear a lot. I can see this being in that category. Yeah, so my thoughts haven't changed with this one. Um, I, I'm looking forward to, and this is why I got the bottle is because it's so much hype to it. Um, I'm very, I'm almost super intrigued uh, with a lot of these releases that get hyped and seeing, you know, not only is the bottle beautiful, it'll look good in my collection, it'll look good on Instagram when I'm taking photos with it. But at the end of the day, um, I'm intrigued in delving into these fragrances and peeling the layers and seeing what intrigues people so much. I think I got this one pegged early on. I like it. I'm not in love with it, but we'll see. We'll see with uh, my testing how it goes. So now that you heard my take, that hasn't changed much. So if you saw that last video, this one is very much redundant. If you haven't seen that last video, don't go check it out because it's the exact same thing here. Um, but I'd love to see your comments below. Let us know what you think about this one. If you agree, disagree with me, what do you think about the brand of Initio? Uh, I'd love to hear your take in the comments. And as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your oud-based release wisely. Thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good one.